We're back with the author of To Rescue the Republic, Brett Baer. Well, the book is called uh, To Rescue the Republic, as I said, and it's about Ulysses S. Grant. Well, first of all, let's get to the bottom of something really important. That wasn't even his name. Exactly. His what name was, was it? Hiram Ulysses Grant, and his father wanted him to go to West Point, and so he didn't really want to go. This Ohio congressman puts in his name, he gets the appointment, they get to West Point, and they say, your name is Ulysses S. Grant, right? And he said, no, it's Hiram Ulysses Grant. They said, well, you only can have the appointment with Ulysses S. Grant. So that became his name. There is no S. It doesn't stand for anything. So his cadets <laughs> that were with him called him Sam, and Uncle Sam stuck after that. Um, the, the book starts on January 6th, uh, 2021, the actual riot and insurrection on Capitol Hill. Why did you start it there? So I was ending the book and putting all these things together, and I was covering January 6th and uh, covering all of the, the riot and all that was happening real time. And in 1876, which is really the climax of this book, Grant, as president, makes a grand bargain and holds the country together as an election is contested. Louisiana, Florida, South Carolina refuse to move electors up. And so he does this grand bargain with Republicans and Democrats to hold everything together. Um, this 2020 obviously was another election where there were people very upset about it. And that moment, that chaos, that dark day in Washington uh, is similar to what we saw in 1876. Part of uh, him sort of uh uh, bringing an end to that conflict over who had won the presidential election was the compromise that pulled Union troops out of the South. Uh, do I have that exactly. correctly? So which essentially, effectively, ended Reconstruction. It did. Which and is so we never really had a Reconstruction of the Confederacy, which is why, as my friend Charlemagne said, we never decrackerfied America. <laughs> and you had people still believing in the Confederacy as the right to rise again and marching into the Capitol on January 6, 2021 with the Confederate flag. You're it right. seems like there's a relationship between that deal and the belief that the South was actually a cause still fighting for, worth fighting for. So that is one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is that Grant knew that Reconstruction had run its course and that the South was not going to put up with it. And they were already rioting. By making this deal, he got them to essentially sign on to being a part of the Union mm -hmm. without falling back into a civil war. You know, Grant, we forget, you know, the 13th, 14th, 15th Amendments of the Constitution are because of Grant. And he fought the KKK with federal troops. He really fought for African Americans, black communities, uh, to be citizens and to have a real life in America. And because the civil rights era had to come years later, a lot of people point back to that moment. But Grant did amazing things in his two terms. Well, I'm not taking anything away from the accomplishments of Ulysses S. Grant, but I, I, I do believe that the pressure that was put on him in that moment actually led to a um, strangling the idea in the cradle of reforming the South. I agree because with you. while there was rioting, that's what the troops were for. Yeah, and also Andrew Johnson, after Lincoln, mm -hmm. was a racist kind of president. Yeah, deeply corrupt. <laughs> and, and there was also a fair amount of corruption in in Grant's administration as well. Do you deal with that at all? Yes, and we deal with all of the, the corruption. He trusted a lot of people. He wasn't a politician before. Um, and he had a lot of foibles, a lot of, of flaws. Uh, but he, if you look in the big picture, was a big leader. And the book ends, it begins on January 6th, but it ends with um, protesters in San Francisco ripping down a Grant statue mm. and then being asked, why are you ripping this down? And they didn't know why they were doing it. And I just think it's important for people to look back in history and realize who did what and how we can learn from it going forward. Um, well, Brett, lovely to have you again. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thanks a lot, Steve. The book is To Rescue the Republic. It's available October 12th. The man is Brett Bear, everybody. We'll be right back with Curb Your Enthusiasm star, Susie Essman. Hey, can I ask you